Well, the funny thing about this is, though, right, you know, the game doesn't want me to explore already, all right? So I get it, kind of, we are still in the tutorial, though. But my, oh, my, welcome back. Let's go and take care of these big boys. Oh, not the best weapon, though, for, for a group of players right there. Off you go. Super beautiful, right, you know? Well, let's see. Do we automatically scan them, or...? No, we do. Nice. I like it, I like it. Well, I'm not 100% sure if it's automatically fully scanned, but... This is what it is, though. Let's reload, and let's go back to the frontier. And then we might go explore here later on, or whenever we feel uh, like it, and wherever we feel like it, you know, in different locations. I do love the addition, though, of um, the Fallout type of dark music like this. It's a little bit like Fallout 1 and 2, right? Anyways, let's go, let's go, and fast, oh. Fast travel to the big boy. I cannot wait to make my own ships, though. To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Oh, I'm sure of that, though. I'm sure of it. Oh, wait a minute, we can directly go from that? Well, let's go into space and let's see how it works. Oh. Alpha Centauri, huh? Oh, that's the soul system right over there. Interesting, right? Hmm. Luton Star, Sirius. Man, I hope we can go to the Seven Sisters. Giggity. I really like that uh, star system. Man, it's a big boy world, isn't it? It's not as big as uh, No Man's Sky by far, right? By far. But that's okay, though. That's okay. Power up the grav engine. Mm -hmm. There we are, though, boys. Yeah, we do need to invest in a better power supply, though, right? Uh, an engine. So we have more points to invest in all of that. I'm sure we can do it, though, because there's a, a ship customization option and everything in the game, too. Alpha Centauri. How cool would it be that there is actually a planet there that we can live on? All right, you do you, girl. No, and I do me. Oh, this is a good one, though, huh? Astrodynamics. Uh, the grav jump is a little bit better than for us. And what do we have here? Unlock ballistic ship weapons. Have 10% increased damage and cost 20% less to use in targeting mode. Interesting. Uh, current rank 1 out of 4. Unlock ship targeting and destroy 5 enemy ships while in targeting mode. Ah! Well, we, maybe we have to unlock that, right? You know, unlock you can attempt to hack advanced locks. And two auto attempts can be banged. This is important because we actually use that, right? Quite a bit. Advanced Expert Master. Expand a digi pick to eliminate keys that aren't required to solve the puzzle. Five auto attempts can be banged. I think this will be very important, right? You know, after all, we are a bounty hunter. We have to go into places nobody wants to go into, you know? Awesome sauce. Now, we cannot fly there, sadly, so let's just go and land. Okay, we got a scan. Interesting little planet. Industrial outpost, and you will land this right over there, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I wonder how Garrett is doing, though. Is he truly a miner? Is Lynn still going normal? Or is he already insane because of Garrett? Or Barrett was the name, right? Now, this is the city where everybody was complaining about before, right? With the VPS. Let's check out how it does on this uh, 7900 XTX. Oh, and who might you be? Again? What type of reputations do you have here, huh? And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. 
All right. My ship needs repairs. I'd like to fuel and modify ships. I'd like to purchase a vehicle. Let me see what ships you have for sale. Where did you say I could uh, sell things? Nah, we are actually fine. Everything looks good here. I'll be mm. in my booth if you need me. All right. It seems like someone is waiting for us. At least the stair. Hey. Mysterious tracker. I'm glad I finally caught up with you. I'm from the Trackers Alliance. We have a proposal for you. Okay, interesting. Sign me up! I've been wanting to join the Trackers Alliance. Proposal me? I don't even know you. I'm listening. Good. Because what I'm about to tell you could change the course of your life. The Trackers Alliance has been following your exploits and believe you have what it takes to join our ranks. You're being invited to our new headquarters in Aquila City. There you'll meet with Agent Number One. If you decide to consider our offer, they'll guide you through our initiation process. I did see a little bit too late though, right? You know, like uh, the wanted option. I should have chosen for that one. Uh, thanks, I'll be there. I'll consider it, and if I show up, you'll have your answer. Nah, not sold. <laughs> now buzz off. I have questions. Well, I don't think she's the answering type. Wonderful. I appreciate you hearing me out. All right. I'll be heading out soon if there's nothing more. Remember, Trackers Alliance HQ in Aquila City. Speak to Agent Number One. Ancient Number One, Aquila. So this is New Atlantis, completely different place. I can assure you, this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. Wow. See them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> Don't back down. Uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. So interesting that there's a war going on, right? ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Baroon Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. Oh. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of there alive. I'm just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. It's an interesting conversation, though. Oh, look at that temperature. So cool. O2. Is it gravitation. He totally forgot that his parents are dead just out of nowhere, right, you know? Ta 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 ta. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Are you telling that only to me though? Do I look like a trustworthy person or something? No, that's why. <laughs> A universe of leisure. Barrett enjoys this yeah. establishment. He frequently buys chocolate here. Though I really? have informed him repeatedly, it is likely a significant contributing factor to his being overweight. He didn't look fat though. Hope you're finding everything you need. Hi there. Hi. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions and if you've got questions, just ask. You sound like Mora from Fallout 3. This is New Atlantis yeah. Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Alright, interesting. So this thing goes like 5,000 km, huh? Uh, Mast District, there you go. So Aquila is a different city, right? Where we have to go for the other well, woman that we did meet. Kind of shady looking though. Kind of rough, right? Around the edges, but could be a sweetheart. I don't know. I'm so excited yeah. to see Tony after work. All right, don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna leave 
leave New Atlantis for good. Okay, but it's kind of weird that you just tell that uh, to a stranger, right? That you just want to see someone else after work. She must be proud. How's it going, though, huh? How's the hanging? Oh, hi there. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing terrible. <laughs> I've been struggling to find meaning in my life. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Yeah, life is good, isn't it? I've been trying to save up enough money so that I can go explore the settled systems with my boyfriend, Tony. I think we're finally getting close. No offense, but you look a little bit tired. How's it going? Well, let's go for the first one. Really? Well, I guess you're right. I'm feeling a bit run down. I really love my job, but it's hard work and long hours. I could definitely use a Terracino from Terra Brew right now. Wow, really? I can go and get you one, it's no trouble. We are sip for someone who has a, gr a boyfriend, even without, we are simping here. I'd go get you one, but I'm busy at the moment. But let's just play along, I'm kinda curious where this is going. Really? That's so sweet, I really appreciate it. Alright. Um, you want to leave New Atlantis, why? Tony and I want to see what else is out there. I love my job, but there has to be more to life than just being a janitor in New Atlantis. What about you? Have you gone on any adventures? Enough for a lifetime. That's amazing. I'm so jealous. One day you'll have to tell me and Tony all about them, okay? Alright, maybe we will. Take care. I'm sure... <sighs> Her boyfriend is something like a robot or something, maybe, though, right? You know? I don't know, man. It's an interesting place. We got around 90 to 100 FPS. Come on, lady. What's going on? <laughs> Those eyes, dude. Those eyes, man. I should not make fun of her, though. It's a real, <laughs> real life disease. But, man, to see that in an NPC out of nowhere, though, it hits different. What are you reading there? Oh, graphical novel, if you know what I mean, right? Without the graphics. In a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. Hmm. So it just wants to have the benefits, it seems. It is nice here. It is smooth. Kind of reminds me of Dantooine, though, right? Of uh. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1. The watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Man, I wanted to throw them a surprise though, huh? What an exclusive club, isn't it? Look at that. The Apollo, yeah. Part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. That that is so freakishly cool though. And I love these Chesterfields, I'm just saying, right? Hello, people. You two keep going on like this, and I'm banning wages. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Pirate attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. It doesn't matter. I have your artifact. Who are you? Why don't we start with you telling me what constellation is? Now, let's not be rude here, though, right? I see. Bosco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? 
Man, that everlasting smile of the girl in the background, though. Huh? It was bright lights and music. I'm not talking about this. That's that thing almost got me killed. How many times has this happened? Who else has these visions? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. It was bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience. With less embellishment. Hmm. Hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, nice. Let's grab that fall damage by 5% less. The greatest mystery in the universe. Why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? So that's mine, that's Garrett's. Gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Hmm. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... Yeah. The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Okay, mine is not even there. So now we have three. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves that Easy girl. Breathe. You'll have a hunt attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Catherine? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Alright, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. This is our little uh, merch. I need some time to clear my head. How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Oh, well, I have not even agreed. You want me in consolation? What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Well, all right, I'm in. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. All right, we got some nice stuff. Let's go with this one. And then we are going to have some conversations. I kind of want to level this though, you know, I kind of want to level that one up, but there's some other things that we have to focus on, right, you know, like more combat. I think persuasion will be nice, because maybe we can learn how to negotiate a better price for the bounty hunting's, right, you know? Yeah, slowly we are building up, we are building it up to roleplay, and after we are set, we are going to spread out if it makes sense. But let's have a conversation with everyone around here. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. Yeah, well, I'm the one that is calm here. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Hmm, Sarah said something about a place for me to stay. You seem to know a lot about these artifacts. Oh, gosh, no, I mean, that's that's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. 
There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Mm, I see. Let me know how I can help you learn more. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Organic stuff, got it. I have more important things to worry about. How would organic resource help with learning about the artifacts? Anything goes, I suppose. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Interesting. So he's the financier over here. Sarah said something. No, no, no. I was wondering about the other types of exploration work beside the artifacts. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Yeah, this is what I mean though. This sounds like typical work for a bounty hunter, right? Uh, at least, you know, a bounty hunter in the sci-fi era. Not just humans, you know, hunting people that did pay the bills. Um, the fish in a cell, what do you think that was? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something. An energy surge, some other phenomenon. This wasn't random sign-ups firing. It means something. Sure. I'm not trying to suggest otherwise. I wasn't there when it happened. I'm just thinking it through. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can note it may be expected in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Sure. I wonder where Barrett found his, though. How long have you been working on all this? Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Well, I've got some organic resources for you. Great, let's see what you have. At least I think. I did sell some stuff though, but... Let's go for all of this. We don't need any, any of that right now. Sarah said something about a place for me to stay. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Alright, sounds like a plan though. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter's quite proud of so, the collection, no, well. but Mateo has made more than a few contributions. Just are sure. out the doors there. Right. Young girl like you. Moment of quiet. There are no shortage of Typical Bethesda, right? You know? <laughs> Typical. Let's head upstairs. Some oh, I didn't understand anything of that. Had this place built decades ago. Oh. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I Famous Infantas here. Hmm. Ah. Interesting. Oh, Russian cosmonaut. American astronaut. I like it. Not bad. Hopefully mine is a little bit more... More normal looking. I don't like the too fancy stuff. Ah, wood. That's good. Oh, we got our own leisure bar, it seems. Well, for the club, that is. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself. Within reason, of course. Now, let's see about that room. You're in luck. All right. We're almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. I'm sure it is, though, right? You know, this is beautiful. Look at that picture. You know, it kind of reminds me of a river close by where I live. 
It is nice. These are old pictures of Earth, right? You know, and Earth is gone, I believe. This will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. Alrighty then. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy. Alright, nice meeting you though, Noel. That is mighty cool. At least we have a lot of wood though, right? You know, I do like that quite a bit. Instead of all the plastic stuff, right, you know? It's high fancy. It's high fancy. That's it. Nah. Okay, we got a watch case. I'm sure we will be here. Never. Oh, mystery graphics suit. Legendary. Why, wow, chameleon? Blends with the environment while sneaking and not moving. Acrobat minus 50% for... Of a, wow, fall damage, wow. Mirrored, 4% chance to reflect attacks. Balance, boost pack. Why did I get a legendary? I'm just starting out the game, right? Okay, just call me happy right now. Call me happy, dude. I like it. I like it very much. Oh, Moby Dick. Good, good book. Very good book. Ah, look at that though. Isn't that beautiful? Nice starry sky. You big boy. Let's Ask talk. If you've got questions, speak up. If you have ideas, we're all here for the same reason. Oh, isn't that cool, big boy? Let's talk okay? then. I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Hmm, these artifacts all came out of caves? Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Kind of strange though that it was just in a box and nobody did anything ever with it. And what do you make of the fishing I saw? I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but, you know, if the label fits. Well, I did see your universe, right? And was something, uh, well, further away, one might say, right? You know, out of it, out of bounds. If it meant something, I didn't understand it. I know it's important. I can feel it. Maybe I'm just going crazy. All I know is I've never experienced anything like it. You think it was a religious experience? Not necessarily, no, but it does kind of have the hallmarks of one, doesn't it? I'm certainly not going to rule it out just yet. Mm, I know it's important. It has to be, right? All of this is connected. We just need to figure out how and why. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Indeed, indeed. What brought you to Constellation? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. Wow, I see. So Walter is not uh, take care of yourself. Not a normal fellow, but more of a shady businessman, apparently. Is the best possible person <clears throat> to be running constellation. Really? Like Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. A soil box? Is that from Earth? Probably. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Yeah, you do look down on normal people, aren't you, huh? Normal workers. If that was an apology, you can do better. You don't even know me. Hmm. Let's go for the first one, though. I've been called worse. 
still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. Just watch the grumpiness in the future. I hope the drinks are at least free. Yes, well, a stocked bar is a treat I think Constellation can afford. For now. But if you clean us out, you're on your own. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. I don't... Of course, so I don't take anything from his corporation, right? This isn't where I'd expect to find a CEO. Hmm. Do you think the vision I had means anything? What kind of company is a Stroud Eklund? The most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covered them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Anything about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. Other What's your role in Constellation? By the financier, I suppose, the piggy bank. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. All right, what about a fishing? Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? I've never seen anything like that in my life. Oh, sure, I see lights and hear music all the time. It's a non-stop party in my head. <laughs> I haven't hit my head recently, if that's what you're asking. You mean, have I seen something like this before? Let's go for the first one. Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. All right, awesome. Bye. Goodbye, big boy. I kind of want to look around, though. You Man. Never expected to end up involved in something like this. These must have been instinct right now for quite a long time. Never ends, does it? Oh, this is that exploration ship, right? For deep sea dives, I believe. Artifacts won't find them. And us going after them means How did I do that? Good thing you've got me around. I'm not sure how I changed camera though. I'm not even sure that I did it. All right, well let's just go around first. Oh, the Fostock program. Wait a minute, wasn't that the one that went to to um, 
Penis? I am not 100% certain about that one, though. Well, let's talk to uh, Sarah Morgan right so, over here. Are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Hmm, I still need some time to get settled. What is Constellation? What do you do? How well known is Constellation? And what do you know about the artifacts? Let's go, I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Hmm. Have to admit, I'm excited. My first mission. Good a chance to learn more about uh, the United Colonies. Jumping to anthropology on me already. Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Got it, you and me, until we get the artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Yeah, do you understand it too then, though? Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Thank <laughs> you.